Hello, hello and welcome guys. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a new mod, which is called Skyheim. So if you enjoy and want to see more, make sure to drop that like and subscribe and let's jump straight to the video. So the first thing on this mod is that it adds a lot of runes and every rune has its own spell. You need to craft those runes in the first place before you can use those runes. And also you can see on my skills that I have now holy magic, fire magic, natural magic and frost magic. So it adds four more skills for you to train and to level up. Inside of this chest, there's all the materials that you need to craft all the runes. Two things that are super important, you're gonna find all of these materials, one, by defeating all the bosses, and two, by raiding dungeons or cleaning dungeons. So the materials that you need are our antler, which is by defeating the first boss, Elder Core, it's a new material that's added with the mod. Whenever you defeat the second boss, which is called the Elder, it will defeat this Elder Core. You're gonna need the Slime Encrusted Bone, which is defeated by the third boss, which is Bone Mass. Then we have Dragon Tear and Freeze Glance. Dragon Tear is obtainable by defeating the fourth boss on the Mountain's Biome, and a Freeze Gland is obtaining by killing the small drakes around the mountains biome close to that pot. Then you need the Yaglu Tink and Goblin Heart which are obtainable by defeating the fifth boss, the plains boss, the Goblin King. Then for the dungeon materials you need coins, ruby, ember pearl, resin which you don't need to go to a dungeon to get this one, this is easy actually, turtling Clore which is on a dungeon as well and we have ember. These are all the materials that you need to craft all of your runes. So whenever you have your, your runes equipped on your hotkeys you're gonna have a bar that's called mana and you actually have mana you cannot just go ahead and just spam clicking so now i'm gonna show you each runestone and what it does so the first one is called rune recall and only have to equip it and left click and you're gonna go straight into your home i believe you're gonna spawn in your bed honestly you use this rune and shazam back at home back at your basement this second rune is called Rune of Lightning and what it does, it summons a ball that's gonna follow me for 5 minutes. Go, as you can see, and whenever I move, this ball of light will follow me everywhere. The next rune, it's called Rune of Chain Lightning and this one is a pretty cool one, I actually enjoy this one. I just need to get one more target than this skeleton because it's not gonna show you the full effect. Whenever I left click, it's gonna damage all the targets, the max targets that it can damage, it's up to 5, so really really cool, really really helpful, I really like this rune. So this next rune is called Rune of Immolation, and what the rune does is that gives me a shield of fire that's gonna make burn damage to the enemies that are nearby me, so let me just activate this one, let me show you. I got a shield, they got close and they burn, and they are burning, and whenever they get close they just burn. That's a pretty useful rune as well. Now we got the rune of invigorate and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and just run 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 like a lot so I can burn my stamina and then I'm gonna use this run and you will see the benefits of the rune increases your stamina and how you're gonna regen stamina much much faster as you can see I regen stamina much much faster right now we have now the rune of travel which is gonna increase my movement speed as you can see but it's draining my mana and whenever I have no more mana the movement speed is gonna be over and there we go as you can see that is a good rune as well you're just going to be zooming all over the place for the next rune we have the rune of warm what the rune does is that increases the health and stamina and makes you resistant to cold so if it's the first time you're coming to the mountain and you don't have a cape that allows you to escape the cold the frost use this rune now we have the rune of healing and it does pretty much that it just heals allies nearby and as you can see my health is increasing much much faster I was jumping into the next rune and I actually needed someone to kill because the next rune is the Glacial Spike rune and what it does is just this. Damn, that's cool. For the next one I still need a candidate to die so it's the rune of Firebolt and what it does, you can guess, it's gonna just send a fireball to this guy, let's go and he did. So now we have the rune of blink and pretty much what he's gonna do is just gonna teleport me forward so I'm gonna aim there and boom there it is, it's teleporting me forward. Next rune is the rune of force. It's gonna just create pretty much a shield in front of me that's gonna protect me from the incoming attacks. So for the next rune we have rune of the frost nova and what it does is this. Just does AoE damage whenever you slap the rune into the ground and it does frost damage. And the next rune is the rune of the frost bolt and it's pretty much the same as the fireball but it's just gonna go ice pretty much and that does a lot of damage. Make sure to drop that subscribe and like and thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you on my channel. Bye!